Now these days a trip to the zoo doesn't just mean looking at the animals from afar, but you can also get up close and personal with some of them. Not only is this an amazing experience, but it's benefiting the conservation cause as well. Here to tell us more is Dave Smart from Hamilton Zoo. Welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Dave. Thanks, Mel. So, okay, how close can you actually get? Well, it depends on the animals. Uh, yeah. First up with the lemurs, they will get as close to you as they want to. And uh, they can come up and they end up sometimes jumping on your lap and taking yummy things like black grapes from your hands. There and they are. Oh, my goodness, they are so cute. Yeah. Madagascar, Madagascar. Absolutely. And that is always on their terms. Mm. They will decide. We can't pat them as much as it's tempting. Uh, it's important to let them interact with us. Right. And then with other animals, like, uh, say, the Siamang gibbons or the rhinos, we have more controlled or no contact encounters. So with the rhinos, for example, you get to touch their skin, and that's something really special when you're up close to an almost two-ton rhino. Yes. But then with the likes of, say, the cheetah, it's through the mesh. There's no contact at all. These guys are as wild as nature intended, and they will end up uh, coming toward you, perhaps taking a little bit of meat from a pair of tongs from you. This is Moyo here. So Moyo it knows that there's meat there, and he's going to come up very, very, very slowly. He's and like, he's... yeah, I'll get there in a minute, yeah. Well, Moyo, he's 12 years old, so as, as big cats go, he is a little bit older, and he's going to come up to oh, the mesh. Like he's going to eat your face right now. I'm filming <laughs> from the other side of the mesh, as you can see from my dodgy camera work there, and a little bit of meat comes through there from the tongs. That way it's all nice and safe, and he can go much, much, much. After that, he goes down that chute there and back out into his big enclosure. Right, because you wouldn't really want to be doing that with your fingers, would you? No, no, you wouldn't. These guys are wild animals, and they're not interested in, uh, you know, the difference between a finger and a piece of meat and safety is paramount, paramount and first every single time. Okay, so what about for the animals? Is it safe for them as it is for the humans? Yeah, as I say, all of the interactions are on their terms. They decide when they will walk up, they decide how they will interact and sometimes they say no. Red pandas, for example, when it gets really hot in summer, they just lie in their tree and say, no, nah, it's too hot for me and you can... Just leave the grapes there. Thanks very much. I'll come and get them later. And fair play to them as well. Yeah, so they should. Absolutely. I guess these are really quite interesting animal encounters. The only wild animals I've encountered have been at the Monkey Forest in Ubud and Bali, and they were not cool. They stole my lollies uh, and, <laughs> and, and then bit my son. So. And, 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 and funny thing is, lollies, not very good for them, and it did awkward things for their behaviour as well, much like it does with our kids too. We've got yeah. to consider that their natural uh, diet is not the things like lollies, and when they yeah. get that, it does change their behaviour. So we need to be really careful with them. Yeah, they were brutal. Uh, so you need to pay a fee to do this. Where yep. does the money go towards? So we have the Hamilton Zoo Conservation Fund and we did some maths not that long ago and we, re we realised that up to the end of 2016 we'd given over two uh, over uh, nine years, we gave over $50,000. It continues over $50,000 to in-situ conservation projects here and around the world. Wow, so that's obviously very important work that the Trust is doing then. Yeah, so we could look after frogs, we could look after kia, we could look after uh, kiwi, and at the same time we could also look after rhinos and red pandas and 21st century tiger places who are doing really, really good work for the animals in their homelands. Okay, so I want to book I want to book the lemurs. How do I do it? Okay, so website's your best bet. We've got either bookable days or walk up and first in, first serve days. That's a good thing to do. So go and check holidays. out the website, hamiltonzoo.co.nz and we'll see you there, Mel. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dave. You're welcome. Sounds Thank really you. good. And from one zoo to another, your own home, if you think your pet has what it takes, make sure you enter them in our Pet of the Week competition. Simply upload a pic of your pet to be in to win $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz and it's congratulations to fur baby Super Sasha who is our winner this week well done we'll get that prize out to your mum Vera Joy it's not weird at all that we're talking to you like a real person either Super Sasha